are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. You know what, guys? One thing that really, really does bother me is the George Floridification of this country. 2020 happened. George Floyd died. And boy, the elevation of criminals went to a whole new level. The NBA decided to put Black Lives Matter, a Marxist organization on the court. They were all kneeling for the national anthem. The Star Spangled Banner. The NBA paid the price because the viewership for the NBA is gone. I don't think he's coming back unless um, LeBron James leaves and retires. Adam Silver, who they just extended, he's going to be around for a bit. Those people need to go away, including uh, Coach Woke, Greg Popovich. Well, the Super Bowl was last night and the George Fortification of the NFL has been the quote unquote black national anthem which does not exist. We only have one national anthem. That is the Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner is supposed to unite this country. Actually, when I was watching um, the Black National Anthem being played last night, I was actually texting Rose. I was like, a bunch of people walking around. Nobody's paying attention to this. They're not paying attention to it. But when a Star Spangled Banner was actually played, the camera actually flashed on one of the players. And this player, black, black player, had tears in his eyes. There's something about the Star Spangled Banner that is emotional. A lot of people, man, have died for the freedoms in this country. Black, white. Asian, Latino, Hispanic, whatever. But the left is hell bent on trying to divide us. They think that the national anthem does not represent black people. Therefore, we need our own national anthem. I believe I've told you guys this before. Lift every voice and sing. Nice song. But it's become extremely divisive. Because the Wolves demand that black people have their own national anthem. I reject that notion. I would never, ever stand for lift every voice and sing. It's a song. It's a nice song. It is not the national anthem. Well, that brings us to uh, this one woke Democrat. He panicked. When he was watching the Super Bowl and saw that people were not standing up. Like I told you guys, when I was watching it, people were um, walking around. They weren't really paying attention to um, the quote unquote black national anthem. Let's talk about that, guys. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Right here on Breitbart. Dem rep Steve Cohen blasts Super Bowl fans for not standing for Negro National Anthem. Well, maybe a lot of people actually realize, you know, that um, we only have one national anthem. One. And we should not be celebrating criminals like George Floyd. Look here. It says white Tennessee Democrat Congressman Steve Cohen was incensed that Super Bowl fans did not stand in respect for what he called the Negro National Anthem during Sunday night's big game. As as it has been for the past several championship games, the NFL opened the Super Bowl with the song Lift Every Voice and Sing which many agitators have proclaimed to be the black national anthem. Yeah, I was actually looking on it too. When, um, 
when it was actually being sung and it was getting destroyed. Opening game last year, regular season, they played Lift Their Voices and Sing and it got destroyed online. The NFL, man, why are you doing this, man? Why? Anyway, it goes on here, says, of course, it isn't a national anthem at all. But regardless, Congressman Cohen was not happy that the video of fans in the stands showed that not many were standing as R&B singer Andra Day. I believe that's the name. I never heard of her before. Performed the popular song. And you know what, guys? I'm going to be honest. She can sing. She has a good voice. But still. It's not our national anthem. It's just a song. This whole thing about the uh, black national anthem is a virtue signal. And then this woke Democrat went on X and started attacking fans. Look at this, guys. This is what he put out. Very, very few stood at Super Bowl for lift their voice and sing. The Negro National Anthem is not the Negro National Anthem. Not a pretty picture of Super Bowl crowd. Yeah. Now, <laughs> look at this right here. This person says, you're a great guy, Steve, but we don't have dual anthems and only one gets the respect of standing. If they want an anthem, all good. But you should try only stand for the National Anthem. This dude says, I stand for both, and in Memphis, most do. He's probably lying about that. Now, from what I actually understand, he actually represents a majority black district. Now, I remember Lift Every Voice and Sing when I was a little boy. I believe it was sung in church, but it was never a national anthem. Okay? Uh, Cohen also... um. Promulgated the false claim that the Star Spangled Banner has verbiage that relates to slavery. Uh, quote, well, I honor our national anthem and respect it as representing our country and our pride in it. Cohen replied to one at poster. However, if you look at the history and some of the uh, verbiage, it does relate to slavery and not in a questioning manner. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So you're saying that. But you stand for it, right? You stand for the anthem. Now, here is the true history of um, our national anthem. The national anthem actually became the national anthem like in, um, I believe, the 1930s officially. OK. And um, John Stafford Smith, he was a British composer from um, the 1700s. The melodic melody of the National Anthem was written way back then. He was dead when the National Anthem was actually adopted. Francis Scott Key. He wrote the poem that the National Anthem is based on. That was in the 1800s. So the National Anthem, the line about slavery, that's like stance number four from his poem. We don't even sing that. So it's really not even a part. Of the national anthem. Look here. He is getting destroyed on this guys. This is funny right here. This is really funny. Look at this. His post here got. 1000 lights. And right here. 9400 dislikes. He is getting destroyed on this. And my man. Chris Salcedo man. The Chris Salcedo Show, Newsmats, and uh, KSEV out here in Houston every uh, morning. His show is great. He puts out, there's only one national anthem. That is from our liberty-loving Latino, Chris Salcedo. Uh, next one here says, the American national anthem doesn't see color. Dems have been the front line, of, um, front line in dividing this country with race wars. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, this is where he actually um, replied about the national anthem um, and the slavery verbiage. He's getting Ray shown on that right there. Wow. This guy is something else. He's getting ratioed on um, 
when he said he actually stood, stands for both anthems. 87 likes to 688 dislikes. Man, Democrats, something else, man. They virtue signal all the time. Thank God, man, we only got one national anthem, man. The goal of the left is going to be to eliminate our national anthem. That's what they want. They want to eliminate it because they hate it. They hate capitalism. They're a bunch of socialists, Marxists and communists. This is what they want. But we cannot let them win. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.